David McIntosh. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. It's a pleasure to speak in today's debate and to support my honourable friend, the member for Harrow East, in his private member's bill. He deserves congratulating, and it has been a pleasure to work with him. It's great to see the bill reach this milestone in the legislative process today. We've had a very thorough and productive committee stage where we were able to analyse every aspect of the bill, and I want to thank honourable and right honourable friends for their contributions. I'm also pleased with the role that the Select Committee played, and it was so important in giving this proper scrutiny. I'd like to thank the Chairman and the Honourable Member for Sheffield South East. Throughout this process, as other members have said, I've always believed that one person who's homeless is one too many. So every opportunity we have to highlight this problem of modern society is, in my view, helpful. I know that all of those taking part in this debate today will be particularly mindful of the human stories behind the statistics, and I believe that it's important to remember the people who are trying to help them. I'd like to put on record my gratitude to the Hope Centre in my constituency, of which I'm proud to be patron of. They do fantastic work to help homeless people to rebuild their lives. Madam Deputy Speaker, I want to use this opportunity to again express my wholehearted commitment to this bill and what it is looking to achieve. I and many other colleagues have said this will not be the only solution to end homelessness, but it's a crucial step on the path to helping those people who are at risk. I'm sure that opportunity will arise in the near future for further changes to be made, and I eagerly anticipate the Government's housing white paper, and indeed the all-party parliamentary group on ending homelessness will continue to push these issues. Indeed, Madam Deputy Speaker, we had an informative and helpful session on prison leavers just this week. Last night, I had the pleasure to watch a new documentary created by Shelter and Channel 5 and ITN called Slum Britain, 50 Years On. This focuses on the plight of hidden homelessness in our country. At the screening, which was also attended by the Honourable Member for Dulwich and West Norwood, we were able to meet one of the families who this documentary had followed. We were told of their struggles with their local authority and the seemingly impossible challenges that they faced trying to access help. It's times like this that remind us of why the bill is so necessary and why this must progress through this House and into the other place as people are looking to us to help them in their most desperate times. The Honourable Member for Harrow East has already thanked the many people who have contributed to this from both sides of the House. I am grateful to the Minister and officials, colleagues from the Select Committee and the Bill Committee, and the charities have already, who have backed this so strongly – Crisis, Shelter, St Mungo's, Homeless Link and many others. I am glad to give this support today.